can consider the PI and the charge of a protein as a sort of a modification of the henderson hasselbalch equation. And um, you can write this modified henderson hasselbalch equation as pH equals PI minus log of the positively charged um, amino acids in the protein divided by the negatively charged amino acids in the protein. So what can we do with that? Now, uh, obviously, we usually want to uh, um, modify or, or adjust the pH so that we get a certain ratio here. And uh, we can uh, quite easily do that. So what we can do is we uh, rearrange this equation. We get log positive over negative equals pi minus ph. And what we want to do is, as I said, we want to adjust the pH so that we either have lots of positive or lots of negative charges because that then allows us to purify the protein. So let's say we want uh, 10 times more, 10 times more positive charges. What we need to do is uh, we need to uh, adjust the pH in the following way. So we have um, log 10 to 1 equals pi minus pH. So that is 1 equals pi minus pH, which means that in this case our pH must be pi minus 1. So it's smaller than the, the, the pH is smaller than the pi. In this case our protein is predominantly positively charged. We can also have 10 times negative charges. And in this case, we would have log 1 over 10 equals pi minus pH. So log 1 over 10 is minus 1 equals pi minus pH and in this case the pH must be pi plus 1. So in order to get 10 times more negative charges our pH must be pi plus 1 in the case of 10 times more positive charges, the, PI, P, the pH must be pi minus 1. I hope this makes sense. Thank you very much for watching.